Today's your lucky day. We're gonna travel through eight must-see World Heritage Sites. World Heritage Sites and structures are those that are recognized as having outstanding international importance, therefore deserving special protection for future generations to enjoy. Hello, Explore. I'm Dami Lee, and with Google Arts and Culture, we're gonna discover eight stunning locations to add to your travel bucket list. So buckle up and subscribe to the channel because this journey's just getting started. First off, we have the Plitvais Lakes National Park. This group of lakes is the oldest and largest national park in the Republic of Croatia. With its exceptional natural beauty, this area has always attracted nature lovers, and in 1949, it was proclaimed Croatia's first national park. Cool, isn't it? Next, put on your carnival clothes, because we're gonna go to Brazil. In particular, to the Pampulha Modern Ensemble. The ensemble comprises bold forms that harness the plastic potential of concrete while fusing architecture, landscape design, sculpture, and painting to a harmonious whole. It reflects the influence of local traditions and the Brazilian climate and natural surroundings, all on the principles of modern architecture. 10,004 kilometers away, we arrive in Ethiopia to visit a landscape of breathtaking vistas characterized by plunging valleys and rugged mountain peaks. The mountains are older than the iconic Rift Valley, and some even came into being between 40 and 25 million years ago during the volcanic eruptions during the Oligocene period. Next stop, the Jeju Volcanic Island and Lava Tubes in South Korea. The Komunodom Lava Tube System is regarded as the finest cave system in the world. It's visually outstanding, even for the most experienced explorers. Located in the eastern part of Jamaica in the Caribbean, the Blue and John Crow Mountains Park covers 495.2 square kilometers or 191.2 square miles. These two ranges cover approximately 20% of the land's total land mass and within the Caribbean region are recognized for their significant biodiversity. Messelpit Fossil Site in Germany is the premier destination in the world for understanding the living environment in the Eocene period, which was between 57 million and 36 million years ago. In particular, it provides unique information about the early stages of the evolution of mammals. It includes exceptionally well-preserved mammal fossils, ranging from fully articulated skeletons to the contents of stomachs of animals from this period. The Palmeral of Elch, a landscape of date palm groves was formally laid out with elaborate irrigation systems. The Palmeral is an oasis, an Arab agrarian technique for arid areas not often seen on the European continent. The Canal du Midi has a 360 kilometer or 223.7 mile network of navigable waterways linking the Mediterranean and the Atlantic through 328 structures like locks, aqueducts, bridges, and tunnels. It's one of the most remarkable feats of civil engineering in modern times. Pretty cool places, aren't they? Which one would you like to go to the most? Heritage is something that's passed down through the years to future generations. The same happens with the natural and historic places that we inherit. We have a responsibility to preserve them so that the future generations have the opportunity to enjoy these places as we do. Don't forget to check out the Google Arts and Culture app if you wanna learn more about world heritage sites. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel as well? 